Hello Aquarius. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 5th until the 11th of September 2016. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The Five of Pentacles. This card typically points to a time of financial strife poverty and adversity and indicates that you have suffered a significant financial loss or failure. This card shows the many faces of material misfortune and lack, including loss of funds, general poverty, illness, unemployment, and solitude. If you have suffered a loss, know that there are people around you who are willing to help. There is always a solution and always a way out, so either open your eyes and go to it, or close your eyes and let the inner light guide you. Often, what has caused these financial problems is a matter of your own emotions, greed will lead to loss, anxiety will lead to error, possessiveness will lead to solitude. By focusing on the material, you lose sight of your spiritual development. You may be rich for a while but all will be lost if you learn nothing. On a psychological level, the Five of Pentacles may indicate difficulty with your relationship to money and material things. If money becomes the primary motivating force in life and the gauge by which you judge your worth, the lack of it may produce anxiety and a sense of being excluded from the good things money can provide. For example, if you are unfortunate enough to encounter financial difficulties such as the loss of employment or an investment gone belly up, you may fall into the trap of losing faith in your ability to recreate a positive financial situation for yourself. Therefore, you should not only consider your actual financial circumstances but also your attitudes toward money. What fears do you have around money and wealth? Are you anxious about never having enough, or do you have faith in your ability to manifest what you need to live a prosperous, fulfilled life no matter what your circumstances? Often wealth is based as much on your psychological state as your actual financial state. In a world that often equates success with financial wealth, the loss shown on the Five of Pentacles can be a humbling blow to your self-esteem and sense of self-worth. This loss can occur in any number of ways but even though an external event may seem to be the cause, this card often reflects that the loss is something you have brought upon yourself. There is a spiritual loss that often precedes or accompanies loss of material wealth. The Five of Pentacles can also point to a time of being alone, feeling abandoned, ignored and unwanted. You may be excluded from group events or you are being ostracized by others. You are in desperate need of support and comfort from those who actually care. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is. The Six of Pentacles. This card is representing being in harmony with your money. The amount that comes in and the amount that flows out are in balance, and you are thankful for what you have without being grasping of it, and happy to share with others in need. This card is also about charity. You may either be the wealthy man in this card, giving away his wealth, or the beggars, gratefully receiving what the man has to offer. 
If you are the wealthy man, then you have accumulated great wealth and are now in a position where you can offer financial assistance to those in need. Now that you have lived through the darkness long enough to see the inner light, it is time to help others who are not so fortunate. Consider giving to charity or reaching out a helping hand to someone who needs your support. The generosity of the six does not limit itself to money and material things. Giving of your time or your wisdom is often just as spiritually fulfilling as giving away money or gifts, and the intangible gift of your presence is received just as well, if not better. You may also be inclined to make a loan to someone, on the premise that they will eventually pay you back once they are back on their feet. This is a loan built on trust and good faith, knowing that if you give something away, it will come back to you. Remember, though, that this is more about a short-term fix and not a sustainable solution towards self-sufficiency. So, think about how you can financially support your family or friends in a way that encourages them to stand on their own two feet eventually. If you are the beggars in the Six of Pentacles, then you may be the recipient of someone else's charitable activities. This will help you to get back on your feet and to eventually repay the charitable organization or individual, either with your time or your restored wealth. You will also need to identify ways in which you can become more self-sufficient in the long run. The risk of accepting charity is that you become dependent on it and cannot look after yourself. Be mindful that you are not becoming submissive or noticeably desperate as a result of the charity that someone else is providing you. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the Queen of Wands. This card describes a situation in which someone is behaving in a manipulative, pushy or selfish way. One of you seems to be in a chronically bad mood, and is angry, resentful and jealous. You may find yourself being attacked or bullied, or behaving this way yourself. Perceptions are skewed and information is being twisted into lies. Someone is demanding, controlling, petty and narrow-minded. The Queen of Wands can also indicate that you have recently lost your confidence in yourself and have become a shrinking violet. You shy away from being in the limelight as you worry that others may think you are not the real deal anymore. You may have even had a recent fall from grace and are now slightly embarrassed about your reputation. What you need to do is restore faith and belief in yourself. Draw from that positive energy that usually lies within and know that you can combat anything once you set your mind to it. The fourth card for you is representing. What is going for you? Your card is. The Eight of Cups. This card indicates that it is time to ask yourself what you can do to bring a deeper satisfaction and joy to your life beyond the obvious pursuit of material satisfaction and or physical enjoyment. You are seeking deeper meaning to life and focusing in on your personal truth. You want to escape from the rat race and pursue deeper more spiritual goals at this time. You are willing to let go of your material possessions in favor of something more meaningful. Thus, the Eight of Cups is often reflective of the start of a journey of discovery, particularly on a spiritual level. The Eight of Cups also indicates that you are disappointed enough to walk away from everything you have built up so far. It could indicate a disappointment in love or dissatisfaction with material success. It could also indicate that you have overextended yourself to the point of emotional exhaustion. Even though you have already come so far, you feel that you can no longer go on and your only choice is to walk away from the situation. You feel disappointed with yourself but you know that this is the right thing to do before you completely burn out. You may also be feeling that you are giving too much and not getting nearly enough in exchange. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the seven of swords. This is a card of mental challenges and rites of passage. 
it shows that you are finding it difficult to take the first step in a new direction. At times it may seem impossible that you could create the types of changes you want as you continually come up against setback after setback. Yet, you know in your soul, that when the timing is right, you will be able to follow through on your dreams, releasing an old pain from your heart. The Seven of Swords suggests that you need to break free from old habits and ways of thinking in order to overcome the blockages that currently stand in your way. You need to accept what is happening to you and act on it, rather than trying to escape. You need to do things differently, releasing yourself from past behaviors or limiting beliefs so that you can move forward in your life. Do not become trapped into thinking that you can only do certain things with which you are familiar. Expand your consideration set to broader horizons. If you are involved in an affair or extramarital relationship, the Seven of Swords shows a growing reluctance to keep up the charade of having this type of relationship. You or your partner may be feeling increasingly uncomfortable with this relationship and would much rather come out in the open about what is happening. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Nine of Pentacles. This card indicates that you have reached a point in your life where you are feeling self-confident, self-sufficient, independent and free. By acting on your own accord, you have attained well-deserved success and may now enjoy money, leisure time, pleasure, material comfort and rest. You appreciate what is now available to you, knowing that the difficulties are over. You also know that you can complete any work necessary through confidence, self-discipline and patience. The Nine of Pentacles is about enjoying the good life and the fruits of your labor. You have worked hard to get here, so now, sit back and relax and enjoy some of life's luxuries. You deserve it. Do not be afraid to splurge, indulge or pamper yourself, particularly if it is as a reward for all of your hard work. Treat yourself to a special occasion, to simply celebrate the journey you have been on to achieve your goals and to re-energize yourself for the next phase. You are close to reaching completion, so acknowledge this and then prepare for what will come after. Sometimes, however, the Nine of Pentacles can indicate that you are close to reaching your goal but you have not yet made it. So, as a result, you may want to stick to your program and continue sacrificing until you have reached that goal. You are showing great self-discipline and self-control to ensure you get to where you want to be. Whilst the suit of pentacles typically focuses on material wealth and gain, the nine of pentacles also suggests that you are in harmony with the nature that is around you. You have an appreciation for the beauty and abundance found in nature and you are able to harness this energy to bring pleasure into your life. You may enjoy gardening or floristry, or you may simply like to pass your time in the beauty of nature with picnics or walks in the park. The Nine of Pentacles can indicate a time of restraint, poison grace. The figure in the card is very ladylike and refined. She lives a comfortable, luxurious lifestyle and is able to keep herself looking nice. This is a time when you need to carry yourself with grace and refinement, and to be tactful and diplomatic in your dealings with others. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is The Prince of Spring. This is the proverbial knight in shining armor, and he's here to help you in whatever way he's needed. There's no task too big, and no detail too small, that he won't rush in and take charge of it. If you need something done now, he's your guy. As an endless optimist, he is always smiling while he works, and once the job is done, you'll probably get a happy wink from him as well. Our prince is charming and courageous, confident, and, oh my exclamation mark so busy. That's because he wants to see everything, 
do everything, experience everything. Of course, if there's a lull in the action at the moment, you may find yourself with a very bored prince. A bored prince can be a grumpy and impatient prince. It's hard for him to really relax and kick back when there's just so much to accomplish out there in the world. On the card, the prince rides a rabbit, moving quickly from one adventure to another. Rabbits are known to be particularly active in the springtime, just like our prince. Additional meanings of this card, feeling alive. The urge to get busy. Handling many things at once. Issues that require speedy decisions and action. A desire for adventure. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.